Hello everyone, welcome to runout.tv. <clears throat> we are in a challenge room, and if you can hear my washer going in the background, I do apologise, I'll try and speak up. Um, we've got Mr. Bill, DJ Redo, we have Albanario, uh, other people. I'm just going to bail me one second, I'm just going to shut this door. Just to keep the noise out. And uh, we've got Albanario as well who's in, which is great, he's a, a really good player, won many, many big titles over the years, been around for a long time, always nice to see him play, um, and we're in a challenge room, now what a challenge room is, is where it's winner stays on, so you'll probably play that in the pub, So, this is a challenge for DJ Reader. What he probably needs to hear is jack it up, but the danger is to go in off in the middle. Now, if he plays topspin, he might just rest on the eight, play the cut. It's really a matter of preference, but if he force follows, it's going to be really hard to get the wide back up past the nine. And he was very unlucky there. He just kissed into that nine ball. And that just blocked him, and Mr. Cray has left the room. I think he was just watching anyway. And a miss by DJ Reed, who didn't get the chance. So Mr. Bill goes right behind it, and free balls arrived now. So I'm getting a few of the, the more well-known players in. Now that was a really good shot by Bill. I would have personally followed it just to avoid that unpredictability. But very well played by Bill to get that back. He's, uh, as you know, he's a regular player on here. You can pretty much always find Mr. Bill online. Uh, he plays a lot of virtual pool and is a really good player. Now he's got a little bit lucky there. <clears throat> and as you guys know I do put my logo across the chat so if people are chatting you know I don't share that in my videos if you uh, where the runout.tv logo is guys if you want to check out what's going on in the chat box there's always a lively chat box uh, if you get what I call quick typing players and now this shot here now that was a really nice shot what he played there that was just Knowing the game, how it works, and then this shot here, probably just wants to roll it in, not do, do anything too crazy. He'll, he'll, he'll know this. There he goes. He had to, a clever shot from a VP4 player because he knows that if he tries to force it in to get an easier shot elsewhere, he knows he's not going to get a probably a much easier shot than what he's got now. So this is a case of just rolling it in. If you if you stun it in, you might go in off, and that's a great shot. And that's a long. It might look long, and you wouldn't fancy this. With your cue, I mean, you'd probably hope to pot it, but, you know, it's not the easiest shot in the world if you're under pressure, but with VP4, Bill ain't going to miss that. So another win for Bill, well done. We're going to want the next game. We've got Mr. Albanario now, so a bit of a showdown here between a former world champion. Mr. Bill very nearly got the nine, but look at that white. And look at the way the balls are set out. So I would guess Albanario, <coughs> if he doesn't clear up, he'll come close. So simple. What he'd be looking at here is what he does with the four ball. The three ball's easy, you just either stun it in or top spin it in. But he'd be looking at the four. He might even try and hit the four here. That's a very, very intelligent shot. Which shows to you the level of skill. You know, Abenoyo really understands the game. You've, you've got to be looking ahead to see, you know, can I deal with an obstacle? He knows he would pot the red where pretty much wherever he left it. That is a bit of a mistake. Didn't get into it far enough. Probably still, he might go for this. We might go behind the four or the, or the seven. Sorry, the seven, not the four. I always get the numbers mixed up. He might well try and cut it in, but he's going to be losing the white a little bit. I think he's going to try and do that. Got to watch the in off. I mean, he's a very good player. I expect he'll probably get this. Um, he 
see that he played actually off the cushion first, which was a really, really clever way of doing it. I always said that Allenville was the best, sort of just pure potter. Um, I'm a bit of a run-out machine, but I do it in quite a, a VP4 way. Albanario is definitely the most stylish player that I've seen. You know, he does shots that I wouldn't be able to do and just has a really good knowledge of angles. If you ever fancy watching a good player, you know, check Alban out because he is a, a top, top player um, and has run these out really well. You know, I'm not even sure I would have run those out. I certainly wouldn't have done it with the panache that he's done it. Um, and even, even there, just a little bit of side spin just to check the white for the perfect angle. You know, I would just stun down here. He'll probably go across a few cushions. Oh, and he nearly wobbled it. Uh, you see, I would have got closer, but that's like a nine ball shot. You don't do anything more than you need to. And a nice run by Alban. So we're now going to see Albanario against free ball. So there we go. So Albanario breaks. He's rated 22 or 2. So he's obviously winning a lot of games. I'm not sure what my rating is at the minute. I think it's a little bit less than that. And again, we see a, a, a break foul. But look at how many balls he got there. I mean, that was a really, really good break. Um, by him and uh, there's nothing really to, to really worry about on this table the only thing that could probably go wrong if you've been really picky is the fort at the six uh, the rest of it's pretty road map ish um, I think a pro would argue that this is a a 10 out of 10 clearance um, if they're practicing this one they wouldn't expect to miss anything but as you know anything can happen and free ball free ball's a good player I think his first name's Ron I'm not sure but uh, uh, he's a He's been around a long time. He knows where the pockets are. He plays a lot of snooker. I know that. So he will be very keen to do that. Now this is the... that Well, that's worked out well. When you hit the nine, you just never quite know. But now it's just a roll in, a little stun on the black, and the nine should be should be academic now. And Ron will be happy he's got this little scalp. Even though it's only one rack, and anybody can win one rack, uh, everyone likes to, to win against the, the good players. Now that was a bit of a mistake. I did not want to be anywhere near there. He didn't have to screw back at all. So maybe a little bit of pressure. And he's wobbled the nine. He's given it away. So he'll be disappointed with that. Uh, he certainly should have won that rack. So Albanario gets another one for free. And it's DJ Renu. And he says a gift. It was a gift. And free ball's gone. He won't be happy with that at all. So I'm not looking to run for that. And here we go. We've got Albin. And again, the white's not far away from the pocket. Now, if I was playing this, I would be thinking jump shot, pot the one, and clear. Because I think this is an easy clearance, personally. You guys have seen me run out tons of these since I started doing VP4 videos. just got to make sure when you line the pot up oh dear what happened there not sure what he was doing there but he's made the seven ball a little bit harder but really I think Alban will be feeling that's a little bit of a gift as well to be honest has he gone behind the six no he's just hit it and that's nice um, I've been playing a lot of snooker so I'm going to do a little snooker video showing you guys hopefully me making a a decent break just practicing and we'll do a little chat about you know what I'm up to and stuff and that video will be coming up soon and um, you know just get some good breaks in and that was a really nice shot really good cue ball control perfect angle on the four so now Alban will be starting to think about how is he going to get on the five to get on the six to get on the seven once you're on the seven you can get on the eight and not a problem but that's the only sort of puzzle he's got to solve here He'll just be wanting to make sure that he doesn't do anything that's going to stop him getting perfect position on the six. Now, he can go anywhere he wants here. It'll be interesting to see where he goes. Personally, I'll go kind of on the same line as where he is now. If we cross the other side of the table, I might come a little bit further down just so I can screw right across to the... If you look at the right-hand side of the table, you've got three dots and you've got the middle dot. I would be looking to get somewhere in the region of that dot, but I think now he'll hit the black. So he's going to go round. And he's hit into it. 
could have gone a little bit wrong, but he's got a definite pot. Now here, the shot here is probably going to hit the nine up table, but if he plays it right, he's going to hit the nine half ball. So I reckon the white will end up in the middle of the table here if he hits it. Just, but he might just hit into the screw off the nine, which it looks like is what he's doing, which I guess leaves less room for the white to fly about and possibly going off. But do we do have a shot clock, as you can see? Let's see what he does. That's exactly what I thought. Just play half ball off the nine and get over to the right-hand side of the table. It's a clever shot by Alvin. And we have Othello. It's just arrived. Not sure if it's the Othello, but... And nice little bit of side spin there, just showing his intelligence. If he comes straight back down, imagine where the white would have been a lot tougher, but now he's not going to miss this nine ball. And a nice run out again by Albinario. He does that a lot. Great play. So we're going to watch this final rack between Mr. Bill and Albinario. And uh, then we'll call the video a day. a great break i wonder if that's a a good break quote unquote because he does seem to do that very well i mean the way those balls split there were fabulous i'm good you know i'm gonna watch that back and see how he's done it and try and replicate it because you know if you're breaking like that on vp4 you're not gonna beat album very often he just is such a great player so here i would probably just spin it to hit the straight down, the, go up to the top of the table, just like that. I might even have gone a little bit further, um, but you know, why? There's no need really because you just stop the white and that really <laughs> easy enough for him. And here I would just put a little bit of top right on, leave the white a little bit further to the left to where it is now for the orange at the top left. But it's a matter of taste. We know whatever he wants to do, he can do it. Yeah, he's done the same shot. I would have played just like that, hopefully. <laughs> Might not have worked out, but I would have tried. Little screw back here. Don't want to go on the bottom cushion, so just a few ball widths down the table. We won't be hitting this very hard. There you go, just a little stun across. And then here, just a little bit of right-hand side again, just to drift up towards the nine at the top right. That's pretty much how we play this one. Uh, I wouldn't have took it that far, but you should be okay. I would have left it pretty straight, to be honest, but... Uh, He's another one out for Albin, so an Albin masterclass today, everybody. And there we go. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.